In the previous lecture, I explained time shifting of continuous time signals. In this lecture, I will explain how to shift the amplitude. Let's say the original signal is equal to xt and after performing the amplitude shifting, after performing the amplitude shifting, the new signal is equal to yt and let's say yt is equal to xt, the original signal plus k. Now if you remember the amplitude scaling in that case we multiplied beta we multiplied beta to the original signal xt and it was equal to the new signal but here in this case we are adding k to the original signal so this is the difference between the time scaling and the time shifting here we multiply beta to the original signal but here we add k to the original signal in case of amplitude scaling the original waveform will change but in case of amplitude shifting the original waveform will remain same depending on the value of k we have two cases in case number one in case number one small k is greater than zero or we can say k is positive and let's say let's say k is equal to plus two the original signal or xt is defined like this it is equal to zero when time t is less than zero it is equal to two when time t is less than equal to two but greater than or equal to zero it is zero again when time t is greater than two this is how the original signal is defined and as i have already explained you the new signal yt is equal to xt plus k the original signal plus k so yt the new signal yt is equal to xt plus 2 because k is equal to 2 so xt plus 2 and we can easily find out the new signal yt 0 plus 2 is equal to 2 when time t is less than 0 2 plus 2 is 4 when time t is less than or equal to 2 but greater than or equal to 0 and it is again equal to 2 when time t is greater than 2 so this is how we define the new signal or the signal after the amplitude shifting and we can easily plot the original signal and the new signal using this informations this is the waveform of the signal xt and after performing the amplitude shifting after performing the amplitude shifting with k equal to 2 this will be the waveform of new signal yt and you can clearly see after amplitude shifting the waveform is shifted upward so case number one is the case of upward shifting case number one is the case of upward shifting now we will move to the case number two in case number two k is less than zero or we can say k is negative and let's say k is equal to minus two so the new signal the new signal yt is equal to xt minus two and we already have the conditions for signal xt so we can easily find out yt when time t is less than zero xt is equal to zero so zero minus two is equal to minus two in the same way when time t is less than or equal to two and it is greater than or equal to zero yt is going to be zero after this yt is equal to minus two when time t is greater than two and by using this information you can easily plot the waveform of yt in case number two and when you plot the waveform you will have something like this from zero to two it is equal to zero and uh, when t is less than zero it is equal it is equal to minus two and when t is greater than two it is again equal to minus two so this is the complete waveform for case number two this waveform is for case number one and this waveform is for case number two and you can clearly see after amplitude shifting in case number two the whole waveform moved downward so case number two is the case of downward shifting down 
word shifting this is all for this lecture see you in the next one